Hello, it's Mark from Worth It Repairs by Mark, and today we're doing a MacBook Air M2 chip A2681 keyboard replacement. We'll grab our T5 screwdriver and unscrew the trackpad so we don't bend up the cable and break it when we're doing the repair. Anyways, this repair is for experts only. I do not recommend it if you're just starting out and you're trying to replace your keyboard. Please check out my video in the description, Top Case Keyboard Replacement and that will be a much easier repair for a beginner. But anyways, we're going to take out the trackpad, give it a good wiggle here, and I also wanted to let you know it took me probably about four hours to do this whole repair, but I sped up the video for you guys so then you can bear to watch it all. But thank you for watching, and we'll grab our T3 screwdriver and get ready to remove the battery, and uh, then it's going to have... Uh, uh, T5s on the each corner the silver ones keep your screws nice and organized those ones are easy to if you misplace it anyways you'll grab some tweezer pointy tweezers and rotate the end and then pull out the pull tab just like so if they break that's okay you can pry out the battery with some alcohol and then use maybe like a flat plastic pry tool never use a metal pry tool it could light on fire you don't want to jab metal into a battery ever. Anyways, this uh, video is going to go to one of my playlists called We Flip It because that's what we're doing here. We're going to turn this $20 repair into a $400 part and I'm going to show you how to do it. Just stay tuned for the video and thank you for watching and like and subscribe. Perfect. We got the battery out. We'll set that somewhere nice and neat. And then we will work our way around, checking um, to see if there's anything we're going to have to remove. And we're going to have to remove this black piece. It's actually your back light of your keyboard. And um, that's going to have to come out. We're going to try not to break it because it looks like this keyboard didn't come with one. We're going to grab our uh, T5 and T3 screwdriver and remove the charge port because that is in the way. And we don't want to rip that out by accident. We'll, we can reuse it for future repair or um, pre-install it. Next, we'll use a little bit of alcohol and our flat of, it, of our plastic spudger and uh, lift up the microphone. That's the microphone right there. That little thing. Wow. All right. So, I think we're ready to start prying off the back. So, it's held down on the edges by adhesive, and so you'll just kind of try to pull up a little bit by bit with the pointy end of precision tweezers, and then once you can get your hand on it, you'll work your way around the edges trying to uh, break it free. You can rip the edges off, um, off of it that's not electronic uh, there's a difference between the backlight and there's like tape around it and uh, so you'll just want to follow my guide on my video you can start from either corner whatever corner works best for you and if you're ever trying to attempt a cleaning to your keyboard you could just remove this and then clean it from the other side but most likely you're just gonna have to replace the keyboard or do a top case keyboard replacement. As you can see, I'm gently lifting. I got it sped up here so you can't really tell, but I really is really gentle with pulling this thing out because I didn't want to break anything and I wanted to make a perfect video for you guys to watch so then you guys can know how to turn a $20 repair into a $400 repair yeah that is worth it So you'll want to pull off the keyboard connection right off the top there. And here's the backlight. We'll go put that somewhere nice. Look at all these P2 screws. We're going to have to remove all of them. 
I counted them. There's 47 of these screws, and you're going to want to get an electric screwdriver for this bad boy. So we'll grab ours out, and we'll start unscrewing it for you. Enjoy the music. Free from YouTube. I'm loving it. After you remove all the screws from the edges, it should look like a pile like that. And then I'm going to get some hard drives, lift it up a bit. This is how I used to do it on the A1708 um, and like kind of like get a uh, lift on the keyboard. Uh, so I try not to bend up the frame and then I get my uh, um, wire cutters and just kind of push down really hard on the keys to like loosen it up. I feel like this didn't do too much. Um, once I got my fingers on it, I was able to rip it out, and you just literally just rip it out like you want to break it, but you don't want to bend it. You want to you want to break the keyboard. You want to get this keyboard out, and so you don't want to bend up the frame. But uh, yeah, so I, I puncture it, and then there's these rivets that are on the back of the keyboard, but they they don't seem to cut. They won't let me cut them off like the other ones. So instead, I just get a lift on the corner here and just rip it off. Perfect. So we're just going to clean off the area. We'll grab our wire cutters and pull off all the rivets all over and just make sure there is no little metal pieces sticking out. Otherwise it'll uh, not seat in there correctly so you'll just like lift on the little metal things you don't want to break them off and like cut them all the way off so i recommend just kind of like if you're splicing a cable you would just kind of do a splicing uh method here to uh get uh, all the rivets off and then we'll lay down a bunch of adhesive and we will adhere down the keyboard and use some stuff to hold it down and i Thank you guys for watching this video this far along. It's uh, been quite a journey making these videos. Got these two camera angles. I hope you guys really like it. And I'm enjoying it just watching it as I record my voiceover. So I um, have been having a lot of fun with this. Perfect. It looks great. We're ready to put the keyboard in. We'll make sure we move the microphone. Don't want to adhere it down with that down and uh, also the audio port and just any other ports that might be sticking out that you don't want underneath your keyboard by accident. I'll use some skinny double-sided tape adhesive. It's black. Um, I think this is like one millimeter or two millimeter. I could be a, a little off on my size. I'm kind of, I kind of don't know. I just like bought the smallest one I could, maybe 1.2 or something like that. Uh, I think that's what it is. I'll try to link it in the description, but that might be on a later post if you want to comment. And maybe yeah, by that time you comment, I'll have the answer for you for what size it exactly is. And this is a very tedious part, putting one in between each rivet. And then I uh, 
push it down and then I grab the edges of it when I uh, pull all the plastic and then pull it on top so it's not like in between the crevice of the keys so the key can't get like stuck push it down so I made sure that that wouldn't happen I did use a method before with liquid adhesive but then I had an issue where it was like getting keys stuck and stuff so instead this is the best way of doing it is just laying down a bunch of adhesive I don't know of a rivet setting tool I, if someone knows of that tool please let me know in the comments that would make my life so much easier instead of doing this and it would make everyone's life easier if we knew what tool you could just like pop on those little rivets I'm sure it's like some sort of pen tool that does that I have like a 3d printing tool that I use on like Windows laptops to like melt the plastic together so then it will hold it down like a rivet but it's not like this when it's metal so please comment below let me know what it is thank you for watching Now we get to lay down the keyboard on all that adhesive that we made sure that uh, was pulled around the edge so it doesn't stick down the keys. And I sped up that video part to 800%, whatever that means, but it took me probably 45 minutes to an hour to lay all that adhesive. Luckily, I had someone to talk to while I was doing it, so it wasn't so horrendous for me to do. But we are definitely gonna flip it. And this repair is worth it! Ho ho ho, I almost forgot to show you the finished product. I skipped all putting in the trackpad and all that just to show you the last bit of it here. All the keys click and it was perfect and worth it! All right, see ya.